great. Uh, hello, today I'm going to show you how to use watercolour paints to create tone in your work. Um, so you're going to need a piece of paper. The piece of paper needs to be good quality paper, ideally watercolour paper, or at least, at least cartridge paper. You're going to need watercolour paint. Um, here at this school we only use three colours, the three primary colours to start with and mix a lot of our colours from that. Um, we've got a circle that we're going to draw around and we've got a very sharp pencil, a paintbrush, some clean water and some tissues. Okay, So we're going to start by wetting our paintbrush and we're just going to make sure it's not dripping with water. So if your paintbrush is dripping there's way too much water on it and that's the use of this tissue. So the tissue will take off excess water. We're then going to go into our paint and we're going to move our paintbrush around in the paint to make sure we've got a really thick creamy consistency on the brush. And what we're going to create on our page today is a sphere from a circle. Okay, So we're going to start with the shadow and we're going to blend it using water to create a mid-tone and a highlight. So with our strong paint that we've got on our brush, so I'd use blue or uh, red for this, we're going to start by creating um, the shadow down one side of the circle that we've drawn on the page. So it should be nice thick paint. Now this is watercolour paint so it is transparent. So don't expect it to behave the same way as acrylic paint. And we're just going to create our arch. Okay, so lots and lots of thick paint on there and this is going to be the shadow so obviously the opposite side of the light I'm then going to wash my brush in clean water and once again we need to make sure there's no excess water on the brush and we're going to start to soften the edge of the shadow just using water on the brush and you can see already that that paint is starting to bleed that's the term we used the water is bleeding the paint and it's going slightly lighter and we're getting a mid-tone already. So I'm going to wash my brush again so it's nice and clean and dry off my brush. And again we're going to add a bit more water and we're going to make this paint bleed into the fresh water I've just put on so it goes even lighter. And I move my paintbrush in the direction of the sphere and it's getting lighter and lighter all the time. As you can see, we're going to leave a little bit of a white patch, and that's going to be the highlight where the light is hitting the ball. Okay, so ideally, you'll end up with something a little bit like that, which looks like a 3D ball. So we started with a circle, and it's now turned into a 3D ball.